What's going on, people? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, Hot 97, the famous hip-hop radio station in New York City, posted this headline about Boosie uh, getting his 12-year-old son fellatio for his birthday, right? Now, Hot 97 got the age wrong, I believe, because I remember a whole year ago, Boosie was talking about this. And I believe he was talking about getting his 14-year-old son fellatio from a grown-ass woman, which is absolutely out of pocket and which is statutory rape. Right. But it also spoke. I don't care if it's a boy or not. It's still a statutory rape. And I'm a, a man's man. But I, I don't I don't nah. I don't I find that absolutely out of pocket and out of line. But it speaks to a problem that I think exists in the hood and it's been existing for a long time. I always felt like the old heads or the OGs in the hood, even though now I recognize that they was lames, that they was goofies on the block, the real goofies on the block. They was trying to advance a lot of the young boys in the hood into sexual activity before uh, we were we were before we were mature or even mentally just ready or mentally understanding what sex was. They were trying to push us into sexual activity at a super young age. Luckily for me, I, um, even though my father wasn't in the household with me, I came from a, a stable family where I had a father that was a, a, a was a leader, and he he was a father to me, and he taught me right from wrong, and, and was not with me having sex at 11, 12 years at eleven and twelve years old. He wasn't with that, and neither was my mother. And they talked to me about uh, sex openly at a young age to understand, like you know, you ain't ready for that, you know what I mean. But um, and if I was to have a talk with them, but um, anyway, I always felt like. They was like, for real, when we were 11 and 12 years old, I remember dudes on the block in Chicago, Illinois, trying to make it seem like we were supposed to be, well, not nah, telling us we were supposed to be having sex with the girls that we had crushes on at 11 and 12 years old, which is ridiculous because when you were 11 years old, you're really trying to get your first kiss a lot of times, or you're really trying to really understand um, how to talk to a girl for real on the phone and trying to get your phone conversation game down pat. You, you're you in your stage of innocence. And it was grown-ass men telling us we were supposed to be having sex with them girls at 11 years old, which now I find extremely disturbing. Because what the, why the hell are you thinking like that with us, with some kids who are in a stage of innocence? Why are you trying to break that? Why are you trying to disturb that? Anyway, right? And I always thought, trying to rush young men into sexual activity when they 12 and 11 years old will turn them into sex machines. They become hypersexualized, right? Become hypersexualized to the point where I'm trying to figure out why your nine and 10 year old son is trying to have sex or have sexual conversations with my nine and 10 year old little sister, or nine and 10 year old little daughter or nine and 10 year old niece. I'm trying to figure out why the hell is he talking to my family or my uh to a woman, a young girl, a nine year old in my family, my nine year old sister or daughter, why are you trying to talk to my daughter about sexual positions and so on and so forth? It's because your ass is uh is not parenting him correctly and you're trying to push sexual activity onto him at a young age where he feels like if he don't try to have sex with my daughter, he ain't man enough. And he ain't no man if he ain't talking about having sex at 10, 10 or 11 years old. The problem was the hood always equated us losing our virginity or having sex to manhood, which is incorrect. And it ain't been, it's been all the way wrong for a long time. Having, trying to make these young boys rush into sex at a young age, turn them into sexual deviants. Or had them getting STDs and STIs super young because they don't even understand what the hell they're doing. They don't understand how sexually transmitted diseases are uh, transmitted because you're not giving them proper sex education. You're just trying to tell them, hey, you supposed to be hitting that. Like, what the hell? You supposed to be hitting that, like, and, and, which is absolutely crazy. They, they, or they get, if they don't get the STDs or STIs, they become fathers at a, at, at an age where they're not supposed to be being fathers, where they're not even responsible for themselves. How the hell are they going to be responsible for a baby? Right? You 13 years old, 14 years old, you having kids. It really is because the old heads on the block or the OGs, the OGs quotes on that, tried to make it seem like you was a lame for not having sex at 13 years old. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? But, it happens so much, and I see young boys become fathers way before they're ready to, right? And me, look, I'm not approved by any means, right? I've been having sex since I was 17 years old. I lost my virginity at 17 years old. No lie, right? But I lost my virginity uh, when I was ready to. Nobody forced my hand or not because I'm old heads on the block was trying to make me do something or not. Because for one, my father and my mother instilled the leadership uh, gene into my head where... 
uh, the leadership trait into my head where I did what I wanted to do. Or I did things because I wanted to do them, not because of no peer pressure. But you got a lot of old heads in the hood that peer pressure young men into sex. And they start getting to some old, off-the-wall type stuff. And your son trying to, like, again, your nine-year-old son trying to talk to my nine-year-old daughter, niece about sex. Like, what the, what the hell is going on? That's a problem. That is an absolute problem. And when you got Boosie talking about getting his 14-year-old son head from a grown-ass woman... Again, he 14 years old, 13 years old or whatever, trying to, you know, at an age where some girl, it's, don't get me wrong. I know I'm not oblivious to it. I know kids having sex super, super young, right? And super young around that age range, but it's, that don't make it right. You know what I mean? But your 14 year old son is talking about, he trying to talk to a girl and trying to talk to my little niece or my little cousin talking about trying to get, trying to get him some hair from them. They like, what the hell? I'm just trying to have a first kiss. But your son trying to get on that because you didn't force him into a sexual life and trying to force you force sexual escapades up, uh, onto him to where after that encounter, he looking for that same sexual high time and time again because he didn't get it from a grown ass woman that you didn't set up. Right. So now he's trying to find sex that he had with a grown ass woman, trying to find sexual acts from that he got from a grown ass woman and other little girls who still in a stage of innocence. Which is absolutely crazy, man. Um, and I don't condone it. I would never. I, I know a lot of dudes in the hood on the blocks that I come from in Chicago, Illinois, South Side Chicago, Illinois, that'll probably be proud if they son having sex at 12, 11 years old. But I'm not going to be that parent. You know what I mean? Right now, I don't have no son. I got a daughter, right? But um, if, when I have a son, if the Lord blesses me with a son, I'm not going to tell him that he's supposed to be having sex at 11 and 12 years old. I don't want him to be having sex at that young age like that because he don't even understand what sex is at that age. You don't understand what you're doing. You don't, um, it's like it's, so much can happen, man. You don't want him to be a parent before he's ready, man. I was a teen parent for sure, but you don't want him to be, I don't want him to be no teen parent before he's ready. And because he feel like I'm pressuring him to have sex, he start doing it just to appease me and try to get high fives and try to get, um, some I'm proud of you for me. And he starts doing stuff he ain't supposed to be doing. And then when he get a baby, everybody looking all crazy. Everybody looking disappointed. Everybody pissed off. But you was forcing him. You was trying to rush him into sexual uh, sexual activity way before he was ready for that. Which is a problem, man. And the hood got to stop that. You know what I mean? I'm never going to tell these shorties out here on the block that they supposed to be having sex with the girls they like when they 12, 13, 14. Like, no, fam. Take your time. You got all you. Listen, that's going to come. That's going to happen. Like, live your life. Enjoy that stage of innocence. Because when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. For real, for real. And I got told you, I lost my virginity at 17 years old, which is considered late amongst my friends and dudes in the hood and dudes on the blocks that I grew up on. But I did it when I was ready. I did it on my own dime, on my own time, and on that other young, on that young lady's time. And um, I didn't care about what the old old who old dudes on the hood was saying because one i knew they was goofies for real like i had a father in my life so i knew them i know them dudes was straight goofies and lames that really weren't gonna do nothing they stay on the block the whole their whole life talk about what they did when they was 14 and 15 and 16 and all this and that's all they're gonna be able to talk about so i understood that they wasn't really going nowhere and they wasn't about nothing so i wasn't gonna listen to what they had to say in the first place but Every every child in the hood don't come from the same structure that I come, that I came from or that, or that I come from, and I understand that every child in the hood don't always have a positive male role model in their life, whether it be a father or an uncle or older brother or whatever. They don't have uh, they don't all everybody don't have a loving mother that talks to them about sex uh, about sex and stuff and all of that, right? But it's that dude on the hood, a dude on the block that's game banging, that's telling you you supposed to be having sex. With um with the with the eleven year old girl that you got a crush on, and real talk, y'all know how many I got several of my homeboys that told me they lost their virginity by running a train on a grown woman when they was like couple of them running a train on a grown woman, uh when they was like little little boys, look like t eleven or twelve because they big cousins had some neighborhood some little uh, neighborhood thought on the block. She probably was like twenty some years old. They had, they look, they big cousins had them have sex with the girl to lose their virginity at 11 years old, 12 years old. And I'm looking like, my cousins made me do that or told me to do that. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with your cousin? What? Sick in their mind. Say, like, okay, let me get my 12, 11 year old cousin in on this train we running on this girl. And why is this girl even letting them, letting this little boy do that to her? But 
Those type of things perpetuate a young man being sexually, being hypersexualized. And when he gets to school, all he think about is when he can have sex and trying to do sexual acts that he did with a grown ass woman on little, little girls. And it starts to become some a crazy world, like to super, super, absolutely ridiculous and sexual deviancy that's out of pocket, right? And again, I don't know prude or nothing. Like I told y'all, I've been having sex since I was 17 years old, been expressing my attraction to girls since I was a young, young boy. But I never was an advocate of young boys in the hood having sex super, super early. And never, it's never going to be something that I'm going to be standing for. Because again, they gonna have, they, it can lead to them having STDs and all type of stuff or being parents before they're ready to do that. Before they're ready to even live life, before they're even ready to go to their first school dance or go to their first homecoming, they are parent already and they got to make all these changes to their life. And all you doing is, and then the old, old heads on the block looking disappointed in you when they told you, they was the ones telling you to be out here ripping and running and having sex with every girl running around. Or that the young boy can have a baby at a young age and the other, the old dude trying to get him a five and get him a, give him a fist pound like, hey, you got you some. And then he continues doing that to try to get admiration from the old dudes on the block. And by the time they 20, they got like five kids. Super, super young. All kids all over the place, man. And um, I don't know, man. I'm always really all about giving game to the young young generation because, like, I really don't know. I'm not on no corny stuff. I really think the young shorties now, that's like in my daughter age range, going to be the future that's going to really change this world because they really move on their own dime. They're really not afraid to be smart. They're not as afraid to express themselves. They're not, a spray, they're not afraid to be themselves. And they don't feel pressured. I don't. Th I think the pressure for them to be super, super, uh, I don't know, like over the top in their masculinity. Like, for real, I'm all for masculinity. I'm all about that. You know what I mean? I'm all about that. And I'm all about representing masculinity to the fullest. But... You got some dudes like like some old like again they give the wrong symbolisms of masculinity. Symbolism of masculinity meaning that they supposed to be having sex when they 11, 12 years old. And I know that the young I'm, I have hope that with some things that I talk about and some of my my boys talk about um, that they won't be leading down that road. Because at the end of the day, I got look I got homies for real that you know uh, could could like they could have been. Uh, wilding when we were super, super young and didn't. You know what I mean? They was the nice looking dudes. They could have been wilding when they were super, super young and didn't because they just like, nah, man, they wasn't ready. And they will be advocates to tell other young shorties, hey, y'all don't need to be doing it at this age, man. Wait, chill out, chill out. You know what I'm saying? You 12, 13 years old, man, focus on school, live your life, go to like work. Like, nah, you ain't ready for all of that. And I had some of my homies that was having sex when they was 12, and 13 years old, they would never want their kids to be doing nothing like that. Because they know they were rushed into it or they wasn't really ready. And they were just doing something just to say they was doing it. Just to have something to brag about to their friends or to the old heads, OGs on the block to poke their chest out about. You know what I mean? But um, I ain't try I'm not for trying to advance kids into sexual activity or sexual acts before they way before they mature enough to even understand what's going on. Like, nah, bro. I'm not even... 13, 14, 12, like, like, what the hell? Like, nah, I ain't with that, man. And um, that's just, and that's just me, man. I just, I think the hood did, did that way too much. And um, it landed a lot of young men into sexual deviancy or had them in some, had them being fathers before they was even ready to even be a father or, or worse, having them getting STDs, all type of crazy stuff just because they was trying to appease the big homies on the block that was goofies in the first place, man. But that's my thought process on it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out.